We will praise the name of the Lord. Ascribe greatness to our God. Open our lips, O Lord, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Uh, kia ora. Good morning, everybody, and welcome today, Tuesday. Today is All Saints Day, and it is an opportunity to pause and reflect and to give thanks for all those who have gone before us in the church. A sentence. So that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which God has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe, according to the working of his great power. Eternal God, you have always taken men and women of every nation, age and colour, and you have called them to be saints. May we, like them, be transformed. Like them, may we be baptised in Jesus' name. Take us to share your glory, where you reign, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. We say the words, the steadfast love of the Lord. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. God's mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Your faithfulness, O Lord, is great. You are all that I have, and therefore I will wait for you. You, Lord, are good to those who wait for you, to all those who seek you. It is good to wait in patience for the salvation of the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. So we come now to our reading for the day, which is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 9, and beginning at verse 18. Once, when Jesus was praying alone, with only the disciples near him, he asked them, who do the crowd say that I am? They answered, John the Baptist, but others, Elijah, and still others, that one of the ancient prophets has arisen. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? And Peter answered, The Messiah of God. He sternly ordered and commanded them not to tell anyone. And he said to them, the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. And then he said to them all, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will save it. What does it profit them if they gain the whole world, but lose or forfeit themselves? Those who are ashamed of me and of my words, of them the Son of Man will be ashamed when he comes in his glory, in the glory of the Father and of the holy angels. But truly I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the kingdom of heaven. Say the words from the song of the church. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as the Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing an endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. And the white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded. Your true and only Son, worthy of all worship 
and the Holy Spirit, our Advocate and Guide. You, Christ, are the King of Glory, the Eternal Son of the Father. When you became incarnate to set us free, you humbly accepted the Virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and you opened the gate of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory and we believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood. And bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Amen. And so we take some time to pray, to bring before God the needs of the world and church in our local community. So gracious God, we give you thanks for this new day. We give you thanks that you walk with us in every situ situation. We give you thanks that this is a new day. And it's a special day because you have made it. Help us to see all the good things you present before us. Help us to walk with all those we see today. Those you bring us into contact with. To guide us, gracious God. So we pray, God of the Southern Sea, we give thanks for these islands of New Zealand, Aotearoa. We give thanks for Māori and Pākehā and all who dwell in this land. We give you thanks and praise for our country and for all that we have achieved together. Increase in our trust in one another. Strengthen our quest for justice. And bring us to unity and a common purpose. You have made us of one blood. Make us also of one mind. So we pray, eternal God, we ask you to bless the representatives we have chosen both council and council and in government. Grant that through their discussions and decisions we may solve our problems effectively, enhance the well-being of our nation and achieve together a fairer and more united society. God, a stronghold in defence, we commend to you those whose task it is to defend us in danger. Inspire them to serve our country well. In peace, hold them ready and alert, and in their, in their lives may they bring honour to your name. Amen. And we give you thanks that you are the God of creation. For you give us abundantly, thirty, sixty, and a hundredfold. We praise you for the harvest that we enjoy, for all the food that we receive and we can eat. We give thanks for the assurance of food and drink for another year. Strengthen us as we enjoy what we are given, and help us to remember the hungry and those who are without. And we ask that you would draw your church together, O God, into one great company of disciples. Together may we follow our Lord Jesus Christ into every walk of life. Together serving him in his mission to the world. And together witnessing to his love on every, on every continent and island. And so we pray these prayers together. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. And we say together the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. 
save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen a morning collect holy and ever-living god by your power we are created and by your love we are redeemed guide and strengthen us by your spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you through jesus christ our saviour amen let us bless the lord thanks be to god and may we continue to dwell in christ so that when he appears we may be confident and unashamed before him at his coming amen so uh, may god bless you this day and may you know the gentleness and the joy of Christ. Amen.